Hello everyone, Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense. Thank you for watching. Today's video is going to be about the Cabela's brand of emergency food. This is a Cabela's 60 serving emergency food bucket that I got from Ding 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 Cabela's. So, this 60 serving, that's all it says on the front. It just says 60 serving. So, it doesn't really give you any idea or indication of you know how long this lasts on the Augustin Farms brand bucket that I've done a video on. The 48 hour bucket has 60 servings. I'm sorry, 55 servings. The Augustin 48 hour bucket has 55 um, servings. So, with this being 60 servings, it's pretty much on par. So you can consider this bucket to be a two day bucket. The seal, just like the other Augustin Farm buckets, was pretty easy to take off, and that's almost disturbing in a way, and I want to touch, touch on that just a little bit. So, as I noted in the other video, this is the, um, the tear-off tab, and you can see that line right in here where you would just click and just tear this along. So I like opening up a can and rip it all the way around and that would allow you to take this quote unquote tamper proof lid off the bucket. It's, it's easy to get off, all you need is a butter knife. So once you pop it off, I can then just hit this really hard and pop it back into place. And for people who don't know any better, um, they'd be none the wiser and think that this was an unsealed box. So I think that's something that you should think about and consider. Um, when you find these buckets secondhand, you could have a very dishonest person who knows how to take these off without tearing the seal and take stuff out and then put junk back in, make you think that you're getting actual food. Uh, if you're going to buy these, I would highly recommend buying strictly from uh, the manufacturer or a um, a dealer or distributor. I wouldn't buy these secondhand from anybody just for the simple fact that it's too easy to get these quote unquote tamper proof seals off and put them back on without anybody really knowing. Um, this, uh, yeah, so this right here would be the only visual indication that it's been tampered with. That's where I took the, the butter knife put it up in there and prod it up. That's the only sign that you can tell that this lid's been tempered with in any way. But anyway, enough of that. So, inside the bucket itself, what do we have? Hearty potato soup. And I'm filling the outside of the bag because on the Augustin buckets, I noticed there was like this film of dust or dirt or something on the outside of the pouch and although you cannot probably see it very easily on video there is something on the outside of this bag not as much as that one Augustin bag that I came across but it's it's noticeable to me right off the bat one thing I notice is these pouches appear to have a zipper on the inside so you can seal the bag back up. That is a plus one for the Cabela's brand. Western Chili. Um, I've, I've had you know Western Chili or Southern Chili or whatever in these freeze dried menus before. It's it's a good meal to have. Certainly better than some potato soup in my opinion. So that's, that's a plus one for the Cabela's. Creamy cinnamon rice pudding. And again, I'm feeling the outside of the pouch and I can, I can detect that there's some type of particulate matter on the outside, it's like dust or something. And you know, it's probably reflecting too much in the video. Probably won't be able to see it. But right in here, tip of my finger, there's something there. 
I can wipe it away. Don't know for sure what is on the outside of the pouches. I can feel it. And it's kind of like dust. And on my fingers from the uh, Augustine bucket, like it left a noticeable film of dust or whatever in my hands. This one's not so much. It's very light, but I can still I can still feel it. I'm thinking it's just, just dust. But here we have beef flavored vegetable stew. Savory black beans and rice. And honey oat granola. Alright, and inside the bucket, uh, there's something right down in there in this corner. Some something, I don't know what that is. I'll take a better look at it. Um, maybe just some kind of, I don't know, some type of particulate matter. What it is, I'm not really sure. Inside the bucket, again, I can still feel this dust feeling kind of stuff on the inside. So it's not something that is um, unique to just the Augustin Farm buckets. It also appears to be inside the Cabela bucket as well. And like I noted in my Augustin Farms uh, bucket review, personally, see, you can kind of see this. It's left a like a a film on my fingers. And I think it's I think it's just dust is what it is. I think wherever they assemble these things they're in this big warehouse slash factory type of sitting and they probably have like a whole pallet of these things you know sitting on a line and people as this bucket is going down the conveyor belt or whatever people are just dumping things in there or whatever their process is i think this stuff is just sitting out in a big warehouse factory type setting and if you've ever been in a factory or a warehouse type setting there's a bunch of dust that accumulates inside and I'm guessing this is the stuff that I'm feeling on the inside is just that just dust all the stuff that came inside this bucket fits with a lot of room to spare so these buckets could actually hold a lot more in my opinion so if you wanted to to maximize your space now this is speaking obviously just from the Cabela brand here um, you know if you bought multiple of the Cabela buckets you could then look how much space is left in there it like just it only fills up half the bucket um, if you wanted you know you could buy multiple of these buckets open them up and you could take out the things that you know you, you really don't like at all and stuff a bucket full of all the good stuff like all the chili mac and all the um, oatmeal stuff and then leave your soup stuff off of the side and then you can have like a quote unquote a super bucket of food but that's for sure just right now with this Cabela's uh, 60 serving emergency food bucket other brands, you know, they may have stuff packed up closer to the top and it'd be harder to do that. But I can tell you right now that based off how much what comes in this bucket only fills half of it, you could for sure buy multiple multiple of these buckets and kind of mix and match a little bit and have one bucket with all the good stuff in it off of the side. The bucket, just like any other bucket, is pretty sturdy. Uh, and again, all this does is keep out the rodents. On the front, just tells you 60 serving, and it gives you the meal options on the inside, right here in the front. And it just repeats um, what's on the inside, gives you the nutritional values. And that's it. And I haven't read in full 
detail, you know, sitting here like I was sitting at the breakfast table reading the back of a cereal box or nothing, but um, I haven't seen anything so far that indicates um, how much water is required to reconstitute all the food inside this bucket. So that's what I'm going to do next is I'm just going to go through, read directions, and write down how, how much water is required for each pouch, add all that up, and then I'm going to take a magic marker and write on the inside and the side um, how much water is required for this particular bucket. And on the August and 30 day bucket that I did, it comes out to like nine gallons of water just to reconstitute uh, 30 days worth of fruits dried food. So that's, that's one of the downsides to freeze dried food is the amount of water that you need to reconstitute it. So not only, you know, if you're going to have a bunch of these stored up, in your garage, your crawl space, wherever, wherever you may store this stuff at, if you're gonna have a bunch of this stuff lined up on the wall, you're going to also need a bunch of water stored up along the wall with it. And that water is just for reconstituting this food. That does not include your drinking water, your sanitation water, etc. Water is going to be a very logistic heavy item for you to be storing. So that's something you need to be thinking about when you are considering uh, freeze-dried food. If you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them down in the comment section. Earl Henderson, Primordial Defense, thank you for watching.